Hello.
Hello, how are you? Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, welcome back. This is the previous day before we finish this module. I hope that you'll be happy because you are going to have a vacation. A vacation, okay? That means that you are going to have uh, the opportunity, the chance to go to parties in your neighborhood with your family, with your relatives, and so on. Mr. Cardona. Hello. How are you? Welcome back to Lima. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Aquí estamos. De oyente, pero aquí estamos. Eso es importante. Sí. Ayer no me pude conectar porque este seguía indispuesto mi, mi bebé. Pero ya ahora ya, ya viene el papá y él se va a quedar con él. Ok. Excelente. Hay que cuidar al bebé. Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Why? Thank you. Good evening. Teacher. You? I'm too. I'm here ready. Okay, I'm ready to teacher. I see you very happy because we are close to finish. Maybe that is the reason. I, I'm not really sure about that, but I guess that that is the reason. We have, we got five.
Okay, I'm ready. What about you? Are you ready or not? Yes, teacher. Just let me know. Just tell me if you are ready or not. Okay, I got the attendance, but I'm giving some time in order that all of you can connect. That is the reason why I'm waiting, because I got only seven students. Giovanni Alexander. Hello, teacher. Hello. Everything okay? Everything fine? What can you tell us? How was your day? Mm. I'm fine, teacher. Easy? Yes. Not easy. Uh, easy. Uh, facile. Yeah. Easy. Was easy or no? Was easy? Uh, my day. Yeah, talking about the day. Day. Because sometimes uh, in our job, we say, oh, it was an easy day. But sometimes we say, oh, today was a difficult day because uh, I have a lot of things to do. Ah, uh, eh, eh, un poco a little. Mm -hmm. Okay, he said. <laughs> uh -huh. hey, ahí el detalle. Sí, ¿Cómo se dice? <laughs> what do you want to say? Eh, calmado. Yeah, easy. Easy. Yeah, the day was easy. Okay, my day. Relax. Easy. Relax. My day was relaxed today. Only today. <laughs> Not much to do. No mucho que hacer. Eh, always, always. <laughs> but <laughs> eh, actitude. Actitude. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, sometimes no, uh, some days are sometimes difficult because you need to do a lot of papers. You need to create some reports, you need to have some meeting, you need to check up different areas, yeah, different situations, you know? And okay. maybe imagine that you are waiting for raw material in order to create something and it doesn't appear. Well, sometimes it's difficult. Uh, but no difficult, but because I like do it. I like to do it. Uh, I like what do it. That, that means that you know what you do. 
you 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 okay? You know what you do. You know. Yes. What? For example, I say I know what I do. I love teaching. I love. Ah, okay. <laughs> I like. Uh, I love. Yeah. Ah, okay. Amo mi trabajo. Yeah. Yes. For that reason, I enjoy. I enjoy. I enjoy, enjoy teaching, you know. Si no disfrutara el enseñar, no estaría sentado aquí a esta hora. Yeah. Yes, yes. But I'm here yes. with you. Hey. Por eso, oh, late. Late. Yeah. <laughs> for, for that reason is why I, I ask you to participate every class, because in that way, Cada vez que participa, usted se encuentra con algunas palabras y dice, ¿y esto cómo lo digo? Pero mientras no habla con alguien más, no, no, no se da cuenta de, de qué es lo que está sucediendo. ¿Sí? Yes. Sí, por eso es que siempre estoy ahí. ¿Quién más lee? ¿Quién más lee? Y ustedes dicen, no, no, no. Entonces tienen que tomarse otra medicina que diga, sí, 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 sí. <risa> Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I got 12. Okay, let us check out the attendance now. Revisamos la asistencia. Thirty nine. Okay, Ana Cristina. Hello, Ana Cristina. No? Ana del Carmen, I saw you there. Present teacher. Yes, you are present. And Angel? Present teacher. Present. Cristina Stephanie? Present. It is present. Fatima? Fatima? Not here. Giovanni? Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Harrison Manuel. Harrison? No here. Juan Carlos? Juan Carlos? No here. Uh, Karen Yesenia? Karen. Karen. Karina Noemi. Present. Y, ok. Ivet, Linda. Present teacher. Ok, María Julia. Present. Marlene Nicole. Present teacher. Nancy, Nancy, no, Nancy, are you Nancy? Norma Carolina, present teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. Thank you, Raf. Raquel. Present teacher. Eh, Soleil, my sir, too. Present. Okay, thank you to all of you to say present. Welcome back. As I told you at the beginning, we are so close to finish this module. We are going to finish tomorrow. For the reason, I would like to start yeah, remembering the way that you are going to fill out the form. I hope that you understand exactly what I'm saying. If not, later on, you can ask me questions related with this issue that I'm explaining you. Tomorrow, uh, 
we are going to have the, the last uh, activity. In fact, I, I haven't seen the time that we are going to have it. Let me try to look for right here in order to be sure exactly what time we're gonna have it. Can find it now. Well, but I'm gonna tell you when it's gonna be talking about time. Of course, we know that it's gonna be tomorrow, right? But we need to know exactly the time when we wanna have it. I got here. We are going to start at 10 minutes before nine. A esa hora vamos a iniciar. 10 minutos antes de las nueve. Es decir, a las ocho cincuenta, we are going to start. Okay. Is that clear? El que teacher. Hola. El que vamos a iniciar. El teacher. ¿Qué actividad tenemos para el día de mañana? Ah, tomorrow. Ah, tomorrow mañana. Yes. Ah, okay. What? Tell me. Encuesta, la encuesta. Ah, señor. Okay. We are going to start. 8.15. And remember that we need to go together. Recuerden que vamos a ir juntos haciendo la encuesta. Step by step. At this moment, I consider that all of you already watch the video or read the information about it. I would like to know if you have a question related to that. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta relacionada con la información de la encuesta. Ahorita es cuando, antes de que sigamos con el topic. Teacher. Hello. Eh, la encuesta is tomorrow or Monday? Well, according to what I have here, it's going to be tomorrow. Okay. Because you okay. are going to finish tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, Friday 10. Okay. Friday 10, December. Thanks, teacher. 2021. No, yeah, el lunes está de vacation. At this time, maybe you are going to be sleeping or I don't know, or watching your soap opera. Do you know what is a soap opera? Hello. Novela. Es la no, novela, no hay que verla. <laughs> Okay. Ah, verdad que sí, habían oído esa palabra, South Opera. No la habían oído, Ana del Carmen. No, teacher. Primera the first vez. Time, the first time that you hear it? La primera vez que la oyes, ¿sí? Sí. Ah, yes. okay. Pero para que vea que no me la estoy inventando, ya Linda le dijo que el significado. Because we, we call novel when, when we have it in books. You can say, I'm going to read a novel. But when you watch it on television, you say it's a opera. Okay. Okay, welcome back. I'm going to show you some pictures. I got uh, a lot of pictures here. And what you are going to do is to create a sentence in simple past. Okay. But I don't know, I would like to, to mention all the names, but let us start doing in, uh, in a volunteer way. 
hagámoslo así en forma voluntaria, ¿no? para que no, porque si no me van a, ah, me desconecto. Ok. Who wants to be the first? Raise your hand if you want to be the first one. The icebreaker. Levante la mano el que quiera ser el primero. The icebreaker. Only one, no more than one. Only one. And I'm going to show you the picture. What you are going to do is just to create a sentence. In simple parts, of course. No hands up. I don't see. I got Marley, Nicole, Rivera, Espinosa, welcome. Hello. Your camera on, please. Remember, to recuerde que está siendo grabada por efectos de calidad. Okay, your picture is this. Marlene, this is your picture. I hope that you can see it very well. Um, you are going to create a sentence in simple pass using this picture. He worked at <laughs> easy, easy, easy. He worked in an office, in his office. Okay, he worked. No. <laughs> and what about if I ask you to create a question? Did he work uh, yesterday? Did he work? In his office yesterday. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Somebody else? I got a lot of picture here. Okay, another hand. I would like to see another hand up. Hands up, hands up. I don't see any hands up. Nadie quiere. No, no, no. I'm going to show you the picture until you have your hands up. Voy a mostrar la imagen hasta que tenga la mano arriba. Si no, cualquiera va a decir, no, me, yes, me. no, no, no. Cristina, Stephanie, Martinez. Easy for you. It's going to be easy for you. Where are you, Cristina? I saw you there. Okay. Here is the picture. In simple past, teacher. Yeah, simple past. She did play in the, the piano. Mm -hmm. Try to do it again. She, she the no, she playing the piano. But in simple pass. She did play. Oh, touch. <laughs> Play. 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 The plan the piano. Okay, the whole sentence. She, she, did, she did play it. Play the piano. Uh -huh. Okay. Remember, when we are going to create a sentence in simple past. You don't need to use did. 
You just need the simple past form of the verb. You are going to use need if you are going to ask a question. Or if you want to create, for example, a negative sentence, I didn't, I didn't play the piano yesterday. But in this case, if you say, she played the piano last night. And now the question? Did, did, she, she, did she play the piano? Did she play the piano last night? Last night. Okay, could be last week. Okay, somebody else, somebody else? The last one is gonna be the last one. I don't see any hands up. No, no veo ninguna mano arriba. That means that you don't want to participate. Fatima Portillo, could you please, could you please turn on your camera to see your face? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. This is your picture, Fatima. Okay, let me see. Okay, you have it there. Okay. He cooked the dinner. He cooked dinner, okay. What about in question? Did he cook the dinner? Did he cook the dinner? Yes, he did, no, he didn't. He bought it, he called to McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and let me see somebody else. I got, I, I, I have another hands up. Thank you. I don't know, Giovanni. Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, this is your. Ah, uh, okay. Uh... The uh, sentence, positive sentence, positive sentence. Positive sentence. Uh, they that they did ex to exercise. Could be, but look for another way. They. Exercise. They. They did to exercise. Ellos hacen ejercicio, ¿no? Yeah, podría ser. Eh, tendría que ser ellos hicieron. But in this case. Ah, ellos hicieron, they did. Uh -huh. Yeah, but in this case, you can, can say another, uh, in another way. They went to. Where's the place where they can do exercises? Uh, they went, ah, they went to, uh, a gymnasio. <laughs> How do you say gymnasio in English, sir? They went to the gym. Ah, uh, to the gym. <laughs> yeah, now ask the question. Okay. Did they to the gym? No, 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 there is something missing. Ah, did, did they go to the, go to gym? To the gym? To the gym. Okay, excellent. Mm. Okay, thank you. Now we are going to start with the book, because all the time, Porque algunos ya se están durmiendo, pero no quieren participar. I don't know why. You had the chance to do it. But if you don't want to do it. Well. Let me see first here. Okay, this is a question. This is video conference 19, class 19. Okay, dokie, here we go. Okay, 
we have this question. When was the last time you attended a training? And the second one, what was the training about? I'm going to read it again. When was the last time you attended a training? And the second one, what was the training about? Okay. Tell me, please. Oops. Hello. You want to tell me something? No. I'm going to get bigger, okay, bigger. Okay. You have it there. When was the last time you attended a training? And the second one, what was the training about? Okay, who wants to participate? Me, teacher. Okay, tell me, sir. In my case, I was training six months ago. Okay. What about the second, the second question? What can you tell us? How do you say security and industrial teacher? Industrial security. Okay. Or safety, if you want. I, I was writing about industrial security in my workplace uh, six months. But, but in this case, you are talking about not, not just to, how can I explain this? Let me see. Uh, in order to get technique, how to be safe in, in the industrial place or work, right? Like using a helmet, glasses, glow. The helmet, glasses. Uh, what, what, what's something about that? The uh, safety boot. Ah, okay, I got you, I got you. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Somebody else. No. Only one. Hello. What about the first question? Tell me. Somebody else want to talk about it? No? Teacher. Tell me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it is one Saturday a month. And there are four hours of training. Okay. Somebody else? Okay. 
What was the chain in the pouch? Do you, you, do you remember? No? Okay, let's continue then if you don't want to talk about that. Listen to the teacher, read the conversation, then practice with the pattern. This is this conversation is between Jack and Julia. Julia. Julie, sorry. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine, thanks. How about you? Yes, perfect. Lou, I want to know if you attended the training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speaker and practice. I personally learned a lot. Okay, I invite you to read it by yourself. I'm going to give you 10 minutes in order that you can read it and then I'm going to read it again. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are you? How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine, thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended the training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speaker and practices. I personally learned a lot. Okay, who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Or uh, if you have a question, let me know. Me, Rafa? Me, teacher. Hey, okay. Karen, sit down. OK. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How, how about you? That's perfect. 
Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attend was about fears AM prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of were pleased by the speakers and um, practice. I personally learned a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Okay, I'm going to read again. So please. Uh... Hi, Yule. This is Jack. How are things going? At work. Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Yes, perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended the training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about parasite and prevention. Sound good. Where did it take place? Listen, where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Hotel. Do you recommend it? Remember that we have a consonant here and this is a vowel. We, we are going to join this, make a link here. Recommend it. Do you recommend it? I mean the training. Did, did you find it helpful? Aquí no me separen al momento de, de pronunciar. Tengo una consonante fuerte, una vocal suave. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. It is the same like here, most of us, most of, most of us were placed. Right here, this is all, most of us, like, uh, how can I say it? In Spanish, I'm going to tell you this. La forma de pronunciar el off es como ponerle una V a, en vez de la F. Entonces, si yo tengo una V aquí, I'm going to say more of, more of, more of us were placed. Pass, more of us were placed with a speaker in practice. I personally learn a lot. Okay, somebody else. Me, teacher. Okay, good. Me. With? Me? Okay, do it. Okay. okay. Inicio. Hi, Julie. Okay. This, this is Jack. How are you seeing going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Okay. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know is you attending a training last year? We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I the training I attend was about fears I am prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Ground Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean the training. Did you think it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were please blessed with the speaker and practice. I personally learning a lot. Thank you. Okay. I personally learned a lot. Okay. Question? Question? 
Preguntas? No, teacher. No question? Okay, let us practice. But try to do it, please. Try to do it. Let me see. Try to help each other, okay? Traten de ayudarse, por favor, entre unos a otros. Ese es el objetivo. Si uno tiene más ventaja, pues, le colabora al otro. Okay, let us do it now. Three minutes in order to do it. Here we go. Welcome, Nancy. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Thank you. It's hey. in the break room. Yes, they are in the break room now. Yeah. But don't worry about it. Um, they are practicing the, the conversation. Huh? They are practicing a, a conversation. Okay, y la page? Let me see in the book. In order to tell you the page, it is number forty-five. Forty-five. Yes. Forty-five. It is. Jack and Julie. Yes, Jack and Julie. If you want, I can read it in order that you can listen and get familiar with some words that maybe you don't know how to pronounce it. Mm. Or, okay. or you can read, read it and I'm going to help you if you have problems with something. Mm. Just tell me. Hey. Hi, Julia. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Uh, hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about how about, how about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attend a training last year. We okay. are saying. Okay, I'm sorry. Right here. This is ED Sounds. Okay, ready? If, if you attend it. If you attend it. Attend it. Attend it. Attend it. Attend the training last year. Okay, attend. continue. Okay. 
if you attending a training last year, we are sending the invitation. No. The invitation. Invitation for the new one. For the new for one. The new one. Okay. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first and uh, no, I eat, no, I said yeah, first I eat and provide some good. Where did it take in place? It was held at the Chrome Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? Recommended it? I meet the training. Did you did you think it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Months of use were placing with the speaker and practice. I personally learned, learned a lot. Learning yeah. a lot. ¿Cómo es la pronunciación? Learn, learn a lot. Learn a lot. Learned a lot. Learned a lot. Learn a lot. And right here, the question is, did you find it helpful? Did you find helpful? Did you find it, find it helpful? Did you find it helpful? Yes. Did you find it helpful? Okay, we are going to get together in the class again. Then okay. maybe you are, you are going to have the chance to practice with somebody. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, welcome back to all of you. Want to start? Stephanie. I am ready. Okay. Hi, Julie. This is, this is Jack. How are the things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Just perfect, look. I want to know if you attend a training last year. We are the same invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Okay. No. Next. Hello. Hello, Cristina. Creo que se le cortó. Yes, um, the connection. Again. Ah, so good. Where did it take place? I, it was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I uh, meet the training. Do you feel it help you? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practice. I personally learned a lot. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Next. Next. Norma, do it. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> Hi, Julie, this is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack, everything is fine, thanks. How about you? Just perfect, look. I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are send, sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first IT and probation. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean the training, did you find, find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers in practice. I personally learned a lot. 
Thank you, Mane. Thank you. Okay. Maria? Karen. Hi. <clears throat> Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine, thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attend was about first aid and prevention. Sounds cool. Where did it take place? It was held at the Grand Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, do you think it helpful? Yes, absolutely. More of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learn a lot. Thank you, Fatima. Remember the pronunciation of the verb fine. Did you find it helpful? Okay. Somebody else? Raquel. Okay. Raquel is there. Aquí estoy. Okay. Hi, Julie. This is Chuck. How was it going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine, thanks. How about you? That's perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training, do you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. More of us were pleased with the speaker and practice. I personally, Learn a lot. Thanks, Raquel. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you very much. We are going to check up the attendance and then we are going to discuss some question. And I invite you to participate Remember, we are so close to finish this module. You are going to go to the next level. And there, you are going to use a lot of vocabulary. Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Is there okay? Ana del Carmen. Present. Angel. Present. Cristina. Present teacher. Fatima. Present. Fatima, está Fatima. Giovanni. Present. Gerson Manuel. No está Gerson. Juan Carlos. 
Juan Carlos, are you there, Juan Carlos? No. Karen Yesenia. Present. Karen is there too. Karina. Present. Linda. Present teacher. Maria Julia. Present. Marlene Nicole. Present. Nancy Yvette. Present teacher. Ahí está Nancy. Norma. Present teacher. Rafael. I'm here, teacher. Raquel. Present, teacher. And Suleyma. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Well, the next step that we're going to do is just to talk about some questions. Let me see here. Okay, you are going to get in pairs and discuss these questions. And the number one, what type of training did you lead attend? The second one, did you find the training of great help? And the third one, in your opinion, how often should training take place? In your opinion. How often should training take place? Okay, try to keep in mind because you are going to need it. You are going to answer with somebody else. Okay, let us do it now. One minute for each. Try to talk about it. Here we go. Nancy, 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 somebody's waiting for you in room one. Go, oh, please. Ana Cristina. Nancy, can you hear me? You need to accept, accept. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, let us talk about the first question. Who wants to read it? Hello? What time of training did Julia attend? Okay, who wants to answer this question? Okay, she attended a training about first aid and prevention. Okay. Second one. Uh, did she find the training of great help? Yes, she did. Okay. In your opinion, in your opinion, how often should training take place? In my opinion, uh, the training will be to be take place. Not, I don't like every six month. <laughs> every six months. Twice a year. Yes, twice a year. No more. Really? Yeah. Because someone. sometimes some trainings are, are boring. It will yeah. be the panel of the of the the topic. Yeah, all, all the panel of the topic sometimes. Yeah. And the person in charge of it because in my case yeah. I, in my case I, I have a uh, once uh, every month really? with, different, with different people, yes. But most of them uh, what's the training about? About language. Oh, good. That's why. Uh, sometimes like about, about pronunciation, sometimes about grammar, about uh -huh. vocabulary. And tomorrow I'm going to have one about this of that is how to teach English as a foreign language with, uh, right. with, with maybe a speaker. Oh, um, interesting. Yep. That's why you like. Yeah, yeah, I enjoy it. <laughs> yes, in my case. Yes, because uh, I, I never stop learning something. You know, every time that I'm giving, giving you a class, I'm learning too. And the next time I'm going to give the same class, but in a, in a different way, with better options. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Let us continue okay. talking about the... Oh, um, I don't know if somebody I want to talk about the last question because it's uh, about your personal opinion. You you can have different ways of thinking. Teacher, me uh, a small question. Hello. Do you have a question? Ah, okay, yes. Eh, eh, bueno, en español. Eh, cuando la, la, la pregunta empieza con, por ejemplo, did she o did you, respondemos yes, I did, o oh, yes, she did. Ma. Yes. En este caso estábamos viendo que en el, en el párrafo, en la última frase de Jack, en la última dice, did you find it help? Helpful. Yes. Y la respuesta solo es yes, absolutely. Ah, okay, okay. Hold on a second. I'm going to show you again to clarify that. Let me go back here. You are talking about this one, okay? Hold on, hold on. Okay. You are talking about this. Let, let, let me. Uh, let último, me... la última de Jack. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I'm, I'm looking for. I need to highlight it. Necesito resaltarla. You are talking about this question, right? You are talking about this one. Yes. And you refer to the answer. Uh -huh. 
to this one. Uh -huh. Okay, let me tell you this. Most of the time when we ask a question using the it, in this case, for example, do you find it helpful? And only say, yes, absolutely. Yeah, it, it's a, a kind of informal way to say it. And, but, but you can use it too. But as I told you at the beginning, all depends on time at the level that you are uh, using the language. Because according to what I told you, uh, the answer could be, do, do you find it helpful? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, I do. No, I, I didn't. Yes. But in this case, saying yes, absolutely. Es, el, uh, es como más comunicativa la, la respuesta, ¿sí? Generalmente la estructura que se es, ha explicado es, es precisamente esa, la yes, no question. Pero hay algo aquí muy importante, y se lo explico en español, que generalmente como estas se llaman yes, no question, siempre hacemos uso del yes. Si fuese negativa, no. Could be in that way too. You can use it in that way if you want. No problem at all. No sé si le quedó claro lo que le estaba diciendo. Yes, yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Let me write this in order to go forward. ¿Alguien más tiene preguntas? No. We already talked about this. Okay, exercise number four. You are going to imagine you attended two of these trainings. Express why do why you could recommend them. We have four talking about self motivation training, anger management, customer service, telephone etiquette, first aid training. Then you have an example there. I highly recommend this training because it helped me control my emotion. Could be one way, but if you are going to talk about customer service or telephone etiquette or first aid training, you need to, to use another kind of vocabulary. Remember, you are going just to look for two of this train. Solo van a elegir dos. And you are going to express why you could recommend it. Y usted va a decir el por qué eh, lo recomendaría, los dos train. Okay? You need to think about it. Ahorita, piense, piense. Choose two of them, and then you are going to give me an explanation why. I'm going to give you time in order to do this. Don't worry about it. Try to think and organize your ideas. Elija los dos que le gusten.
Okay, okay. remember that you are going to choose just two. Solo van a elegir dos. No more than two. And you are going to tell me why you would recommend So, customer service, it is important to know how is should be served and what you need. And first, I find it. it is important to help people in a time of emergency. Emergencies. 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 Okay, thank you. Somebody else want to say something or you haven't finished? Yeah. Hello, Christina. Me. I think the training in first I training because in case of emergency, all this stuff know what to do. Okay, that is the reason why you recommend to, to take the training uh, first aid. Because in case of emergencies, you are going to know how to attend a case. Yeah. Okay, thank you. In the second customer service, because it serves to give better custom, customer service and that speak well of the company. It talks about company, okay. Yeah. In order to attend people in the best way. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Christina. Okay. Who's next? Teacher, I will recommend the anger management and first aid training. Why the why I choose this? Because in the anger management, we can learn techniques to control our emotions. Also, we can learn uh, to understand the the anger or the emotion of our co-workers and the other the first aid training it will help me to to know the different information and also to to learn the skill 
to help to help adults and children during emerging situations. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Farima. You're welcome. Next, who's next? If you have already finished, you can tell me what the reason why you recommend this to training. Who's next? Somebody who wants to read? Hello, hello. In my case, for example, I could, I could tell you that I recommend you to take a training about listening comprehension because it's going to help you a lot. Yeah, and that way you are going to clarify your ears. You, you are going to sharp your ear. As soon as somebody tell you something, you are going to say yes or not. Yes, this is just an example. Este es un, ej un ejemplo. Okay, thank you. Well, I, I would recommend customer service because I think that could be of great help to many of us because um, I think uh, we deal with customer every day. So we can learn some techniques, some technique, techniques, techniques. I don't know how to say techniques to how to manage the different situation with customer and improve our own techniques. Okay, and, and in other words, um, how to increase your passion, in order to be passionate with clients, and also maybe related to how uh, anger management, because sometimes when you are showing something to a client and at the end he or she said no I don't want I don't want I'm not, I'm not going to take it to say I spent my time showing you this <laughs> you know that usually happens but we need Is, to learn está relacionado ambas sí son son muy relacionadas muy relacionadas Okay, thank you. The last person who wants to participate in this activity. That's right, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Rafael. Uh, customer service. 
I would like to recommend this person, uh, Carol Perez, because she's practicing, she speaks two languages very well, and she's responsible in the workplace too. Uh -huh. What is the name of the person? Say Carol Perez. Carol. Carol. Ah, okay, Carol Perez. I heard like Carlos. Carol Perez. Okay, Carol. Carol G. Carol G. Carol G. Hey. <laughs> Carol G. Okay, let us continue. Thank you very much. Let me see where we are. Okay. Then. Right here in the activity number five, what you are going to do is that you need to write down an email recommending a workshop or training course and providing information about it. And you need to know what is the meaning of two. Right here, you are going to write down the name of the person who you are addressing about it from. Right here, you are going to write down the, the name of the company, the subject, the name of the training, and in the body, you can write down an explanation about something. Any question? Okay. Any question how, how to write down an email? Also, you can use the information that you have there with you. What you are going to do is just to choose the, the right person. and the name of the company. And also, of course, you need to put the name of the train or workshop. Any question? Preguntas? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, do it, do it, do it now. You have enough time to do it.
Any questions so far from here?
Okay. Did you finish? Not yet. If you already finished, just let me know. I have finished. Excuse me? Yes. Okay, fair enough. Do you have in your computer or in your notebook? In my notebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, by the way, let me see the person that is going to be with me at the end of the class. I don't know if I already told you. Juan Carlos Palacios is there or not? Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos. I don't see Juan Carlos here. If I check out the attendance, let me see. I want to be sure. No. Not here, it's not here today. Well, <clears throat> one of you, if you consider that have some question, you can uh, stay at the end of the class. And that way I can help you because Juan Carlos is not here today. Okay, I don't know if you want to to read it. Fatima. Just in case if you okay. want to if you want to do it, go ahead. Okay. Okay. The email is to Elena from myself the subject is um, training invitation 
I don't know if, if that's correct. But... Okay, did, did Elena, I would like you to invite, I would like you to invite to participate to a training about time management. Uh, in this training, you can learn how to manage your time effectively. Also, uh, they will be provide techniques and tools that will help to be organized, focused, and be more productively every day. Sincerely, Patim, for you. Nice. I like that. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, so Maria? Se dan cuenta que sí pueden. Me, teacher. Okay, do it, Linda. It's a little bit similar to Fatima. <laughs> ah, sería un copio. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, to Carolina Mejia gmail.com and from lmarsyahoo.com. The subject, anger management. Uh, dear Carolina, I would like to invite you and your team to assist a training about anger management. In this training, we will, we teach, you, we will teach you how to control your emotions in front of customers with difficult situation and how to solve it. We are going to expect for you at the Hotel Plaza in the main hall at 3 p.m. The speaker is going to be Mr. Diego Sanchez. We come with you. Regrets. Nice, I like that too. Congratulations, good job. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Cristina. To Alisa Sandoval, bpn.com from production manager. Subject training, good manufacturing training. Uh -huh. Train, good manufacturing training. Uh, Mr. Molina, we are. Here be right to you to recommend or training service in God Manufacturing practice, which will be of great benefit to your company. Since we deal with point so that the products is of air quality and profit. Profitability. Only that is. All right, that's it. All right, thank you. Excellent. Somebody else? No. Next, please. Okay, one more, please, one more.
¿Nadie más se anima? No. Ok. We are going to stop here today. I'm going just to remember the activity that we had tomorrow. I'm going to tell in Spanish because in that way um, I consider that if you have some doubts, you can ask questions about it. Referente a la encuesta del día de mañana, por favor, ya le di la hora. Diez minutos antes de las nueve, iniciamos. Les pido de favor que estemos todos a tiempo. A la recomendación que siempre damos es que si lo puede hacer en computadora, pues es más fácil para solo ir copiando los datos, números de referencia del curso. Eh, la vez anterior hubo como un problema en alguien que se le escapó el nombre de la empresa donde elabora. Entonces, por favor, mantengamos todo eso al día. Los nombres de las empresas. Quién provee el servicio de, eh, el módulo que están recibiendo. Todo eso debe estar muy claro. Más creo que se los enviaron al, al WhatsApp. Y ya lo debieron haber visto, ¿cierto? Sí. Okay. Si alguien no lo ha hecho aún, le pido por favor el día de mañana o de de la clase puede darle una miradita aunque ya lo hicieron varias veces pero es mejor estar seguro de lo que vamos a hacer como ya les dije nadie se debe de adelantar vamos a respetar los tiempos que se nos han eh, concedido y eh, iremos despacio para ir eh, escribiendo y poniendo todos los datos de la mejor manera posible así es que Eso debe ser un recordatorio, ¿no? Uh -huh. Y veamos la asistencia. And also, I'm checking now here. I, ha I, I had your grades. Por acá tengo las notas. Todavía me faltan algunos que no me han hecho ninguna actividad de la semana 4. Ahí tengo el nombre ya. Eh, let me see. Son varios. Son varios. Ok. Si me faltan. One, two, three, four, five. Ok, entonces, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen. Ana del Carmen. Ángel. Present teacher. Cristina Stephanie. Present. Fátima. Present. Giovanni. Gerson Manuel. Ahí aparece comentado Gerson. Gerson. Juan Carlos Palacios. No. Karen Yesenia. Present. Karina. Present. Linda Ivette. María Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Nancy. Present. Norma. Present teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. Raquel. Present teacher. Sulaim. Ok, entonces recordemos la hora en la que iniciará la encuesta más creo que si hay algún tráfico o si alguien sale un poco tarde tiene la oportunidad de estar a esa hora
para que iniciemos todos juntos. Ok. Sí. ¿Alguna pregunta? No. ¿No? No. No, okay. no. Ok, thank you. Thank you very much. ¿Alguien que desee eh, reforzar algo que le quedó en duda lo puede hacer porque la persona asignada al día de hoy no está. Ok, good night. Bye bye. See you good tomorrow. Night. Remember you tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be it's going to be the good last night. day for us. Good night. Good night. Ok, good night. See you. Bye bye. Take bye. care. See you later. I got two Christinas in my screen now. Christina, Stephanie, and Anna Christina. Both are Christinas. No sé si Christina, eh, Anna Christina va a preguntarle algo. I don't know. Anna Christina, are you going to ask me any question? O es que se levantó. Ana Cristina, are you there? Quizás no está. No está. Se levantó. Yo solo tengo una, una pregunta pequeña, teacher. Ok, ok, ya se fue. Chao. Con Bien. relación a lo de, del DIT. Ok. Eh, cuando cuando el verbo está eh, es irregular y es una afirmación o algo así, sí afirmación es eh, solo se dice digamos she el, el sujeto el verbo es irregular en pasado y el complemento de la oración Yes, no se usa el did. Okay, hold on. I'm going to explain this. For example, you can say she gave me a present. Uh -huh. Ella me dio un regalo. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Eso es positivo. Si yo quiero hacer la negativa usando eh, Ahí sí ya debo de usar el, 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 el didn't. For example, she didn't, she didn't. Uh -huh. Ya, she didn't. Ojo con eso. ¿Cómo quedaría el verbo ahí? En su forma base. Oh, yes. She didn't. Give me Porque any... ya estamos usando el auxiliar. Ok, did. perfecto, sí. sí. Uh -huh. En otras palabras, but you are going to use did in negative and in question. Entonces allí el auxiliar va primero y el verbo va en su forma base. Yes. Uh, okay. Give me an example. Uh, did it um, pizza yesterday? Did she eat pizza yesterday? Yeah, that is a question, but in negative. In negative. Uh, Talking about you, could be. She didn't eat. And she. No, she didn't. Okay. Oh, but in in, in pregunta. No, 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 in negative. Uh, uh, Negativa pasada. Uh, she didn't eat pizza. She didn't eat pizza. Okay. Uh -huh. She didn't go to the movie. She Ella did. no fue al cine. Uh -huh. okay. She didn't. Pero siempre tiene que ir el did, not, y el verbo en forma base, pero yes. didn't, didn't. Más el verbo en forma base. Para hacer la negación. Ajá. Yes. Pero cuando es afirmativo. You don't, you don't need it. Primero va el, el subject. Yes. El, 
y el verbo en forma pasada. Yes, I, I went, for example, I say I went, I went to the stadium yesterday. Allí no lleva el did, ¿verdad? Porque ya no. el verbo está en forma pasada. Yes. Ah, allí era donde yo me confundía porque no sabía si se ponía, tenía que poner el did. No. Como le dije, por ejemplo, va a usar didn't en negativas y didn't pregunta. Ajá, ajá, sí. ajá. Sí, por eso, así como en el ejemplo de, de, de she played the piano. Yes, she played the piano. Ah, uh, she played the, play, the piano. Ajá, Ahora, yo le había puesto she did play on the piano. Ah, no, no, no. No, no, puede, no puede ir ahí. Ahora, ajá, si va es... Si va a hacer una pregunta, entonces sí. Entonces va a decir, el did va antes del sujeto. Did she play the piano? Uh -huh. Ajá. Y ya está la pregunta. Ah, ok. Gracias, teacher. Ok, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.